the eternal city of Rome plays host to the latest stop on the ACP World Tour Masters 1000 schedule and the big name players would have little time to settle in at the Italian capital following as it does hot on the heels of Madrid. 11th seed Thomas Burdick had a chance to be a tourist at the iconic Colosseum. And the Czech number one kicked off proceedings on the opening day at the Foro Italico against Misha Zverev. After a first set of dominant big serving, the pair went to a tie-break and Burdick was just beginning to shade it. It was in. A few more grey hairs for Goran. And the pendulum swings again. After eventually taking the opener and with a single break in the second, Burdick was able to book his place in round two, soaking up all the Germans' pressure on his serve. And he makes it at the second attempt with the overhead. And he's delighted to have come through what was a real test today for the Czech. In arguably the match of the first round, it was one-way traffic for Grigor Dimitrov against Juan Martín del Potro in the opener, as the Bulgarian looked for his first win over the Argentinian. Beautiful. That was one sweet backhand from Dimitrov. And this time, good discipline from the Bulgarian. The tenth seed took set one, but the second was a different story. Del Potro was bringing out his trademark shot for a stranglehold on the set. Well, we said the forehand was beginning to really flow. There's another one. Oh, it's got him again. <laughs> Forehand's just gone nuclear. I mean, check this out. Boom. The decider was keenly contested, but midway through it was beginning to look like the former US Open champion might have the edge. Another laser from the big man. And after a double fault handed Delpo the break, the match soon followed. The Tower of Tandil takes his place in the second round in Rome. Juan Martín del Potro, ever popular with the crowds. Comes back from a set behind to defeat Grigor Dimitrov. Another desperately frustrating evening for the Bulgarian. On the newly named Next Gen Arena, ninth seed David Goffin would face a scrap against lucky loser Thomas Bellucci. The Brazilian lefty taking the Belgian to a tie-break in the opener and was taking control. Oh, it's nice. Lovely combination, the drop shot. Drawing Goffin in. A set and a breakdown, and on the brink of an early exit, Goffin composed himself to level the second and look for a route back into this match. It's just a different feel to things now, isn't that? Goffin just seems to have regathered his composure. The ninth seed took the second set and was coming good towards the end of the decider, too. And another convincing hold from Goffin this time. He keeps his nose in front. A break up, all that remained was for Goffin to serve out. And how ironic on a day when Goffin's serve has been a little suspect, particularly the second deal, that he seals it with an ace. A real roller coaster encounter. It wasn't a good day for the home contingent at the Foro Italico. Wildcard Andrea Seppi fell victim to Nicolas Almagro in straight sets on Campo Centrale. While Italian youngster Stefano Napolitano was given the benefit of Viktor Troitsky's experience out on court Nicola Pietrangeli, the Serbian number two also threw in two sets. Last year's semi-finalist Luca Puy didn't make it past round one this time around. The young Frenchman was sent packing by Sam Querrey in two tie-break sets. Tuesday sees the start of round two in Rome. Defending champion, world number one and the latest ATP trigenarian Andy Murray will begin the defence of his trophy on day two.